What is up, you guys? It's your fellow YouTube staff, Cuck, here. Today is my first time on the job, and you know, since YouTube is all about sharing the experience, I just want to show you guys how it is to be a YouTube staff employee. So today, I'm going to take you guys on one of my little routes. You know, I got a few reports of this channel, and you know, I'm just going to check out a few videos, make sure it's all clears out, because if you look at it, it's just like a regular mom doing her regular thing, just vlogging her family, having a nice time with them, and then some people are just out here trying to ruin it for them. We're not going to go through the whole video. We're just going to skip from little part to little part. We don't need to see the whole thing. We can just get a big view of it just by looking at a little few second parts of it all right all right nothing too suspicious here you know just a mom out with her kids getting a tree nothing too out of the blue if you are looking for presents i link to my homeware store all right she's doing a little advertising ain't no wrong with here she's trying to advertise romance novels I want to see the cover of these romance novels, man. Just to see if they fit within our guideline. Let's let's take a little peek at them. Oh, oh. Well, um, these are the romance novels, and they're very flashy, and they really catch the eye. If you can't tell, bro, I wonder who are these different guys. Does she just get different guys to like model for a romance novel, or does she just get stock photos of fucking buff guys and just puts them up there? I guess this is advertiser friendly. If she wants to write romance novels, you know what? We really can't do too much if she's promoting a little bit of romance novels, as she said herself. And if they're properly marked for the right ages, we really can't do too much about it. So I'm going to let that slide. But you know what? We're going to check out a few more videos from her. Just to make sure. I'm not saying that she's doing anything wrong. But just to make sure she's following our guidelines. Hey all, welcome back to cleaning time. She's just gonna do a little bit of cleaning. Let's make sure. Let's just watch her do a little bit of cleaning. All right, follow on. Let's get cleaning. Yo, what the fuck? You can't put that on YouTube? What the fuck? I mean, like, I can't even mark this as an accident. It'd be one thing if only the right or the left cheek, you know, was hanging out. I'm like, eh, it's just a little accident. She didn't know. Girl, your booty cheeks are eating your shorts. And it's not like them things are starving either. I'm like, them things are fat. She's about obese. I, I, I wonder who is her fan base watching this because I'm pretty sure women that are cleaning their house aren't looking for this. You know what, let's just read a few comments before we get into the rest of her videos because I'm definitely checking out the rest of her videos now. For YouTube policy purposes, not for my own pleasure. Gotta read a fucking Bible and take a bath in holy water after this shit. You just made my day. God bless those shorts. Wait, what was that on again? Oh, 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 it's YouTube. All right, I thought I just clicked on fucking porno up on accident. I was about to have to delete this whole video. God, please marry me. I bet she was just like, no, but I got a premium Snapchat that you can have. It's only $35 a month. Just pause it on 46 seconds and thank me later. F4P. What does F4P stand for? Now I'm curious. What the fuck is that 46 seconds? Oh, this is what F4P stands for. Great video, thanks. Seems like someone got some great tips on how to pick up shit out of this video. <laughs> I think I've paused this video about 30 times. Yeah, I think I paused this video about 30 times too, because some of her tips were a little tricky to follow. You know, I had to pause and stop. You had to write down some things and make sure I don't forget them. But you know, overall, it was a pretty helpful video, and now I know how to properly pick up after my children. Taco and very beautiful mouth. If you guys don't know, he misspelled that first word. The word he's actually trying to say is Belizima, and it means beautiful. So basically what he said with his broken Spanish is beautiful and beautiful mouth. As you can tell, he's one of the world's greatest poets. Just Edgar Allan Poe's level of poetry. Alright, now that we got a little picture of her fan base, and it seems like she does regular vlogs. It seems like probably we should sort these out in some way. Maybe by most popular. Maybe if I do the most popular ones, that'll show me that this is not her main bread and butter. There's no way a nice, respectable woman like herself would ever want to be disrespected in this kind of way. And she made a horrible mistake. As soon as I press this most popular button, is gonna come up with her singing hymns with her children and going to church. 
why is the first thing I see is her breastfeeding her child? And it's not like it's just the child's head there. Maybe the shirts lift up a little. No, it's full on boob with no nipple. Uh, I don't even want to read the fucking comments, but I'm probably going to have to after watching this shit. This fucking demon right here has her fucking baby. And what is practically softcore porn to these people. And I know breastfeeding is beautiful. But you know that fucking guys are gonna look at the tit. And they're gonna be like, ugh, I need more. And you already know what the fuck they're wanting in this fucking video. You already know perverts are probably looking at this shit too. Just like, oh yeah, that fucking baby sucking on that goddamn nipple. Let's fucking, mm, don't want to. Let's fucking watch it. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Let's go, let's go. Hey guys, welcome to day two of RV with Little Dude. Driving's pretty fun. Are we on our whole big second day of RV? I know what we did. I know. Babies have to nurse, you know, all the time. Doesn't matter when or where. Oh my god, it's not even 30 seconds in literally and she already has the boob out. I thought she would at least make him wait for it, tease him a little bit, you know, play with him around. Oh, she just fucking said, fuck it. I already know my fan base are here for one thing. Take it, you fucking perverts. Give me your fucking money to you pieces of shits. God, do you, do you have any kind of shame? Just like... I probably shouldn't be putting my baby out here knowing that I'm over-sexualizing myself. Nope. None. Mm -mm. None. And that's the thing, though. Because usually when I watch porn, I know some of the girls probably have a fucking baby. But guess what they don't do whenever I fucking search them up? Have their fucking baby in their thumbnail. And I say a lot of gross shit, but oh my god, this is gross. You're literally sexualizing your baby at this fucking point. You literally have this little fucker sucking on your nipple, and you're just like, I'm just gonna vlog this for all of my fucking perverted fans to see. It's not like your little, oh, mommy, daycare, take care of your child. And the sad part is, you know she's doing this as fan service because the rest of the video is literally just a vlog. Literally, she did no insight of, oh, for all you mommies out there that need to learn how to breastfeed, this is how you do it. No, she literally just whips out the tit, feeds the little fucker, and then just like, oh, time to go vlog the rest of my fucking day. You know she did that as fucking fan service to the fucking pedophiles out there. You know what? I'm getting too heated about this. I'm gonna just end the video here. If you guys like the video, leave a like share it it helps me out a lot like way more than you guys think it would leave a comment and other than that i'll see you guys in the next video